Hello, hello, and welcome to the Tarot Parlor podcast. This is a reading that is not meant to be posted everywhere. I have little sidebars at my website, The Witch's Corner, and my website, The Tarot Parlor, where I do individual little written readings meant to be found by visitors to my website. But the reading that I did for the sidebar at The Witch's Corner yesterday seemed so profound, and it seemed like such an important message that I'm going to put it out there as wide and far as I can. With that said, off we go. The cards were Three of Wands reversed, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Cups reversed, The World reversed, King of Cups, Knight of Pentacles reversed, Five of Wands reversed, Ten of Swords reversed, and the Two of Pentacles. So when I began this reading, specifically... There's been a lot of water under the bridge where a couple is concerned, and there has been broken promises, inconsistent patterns of behavior, and actions with some pretty questionable motives. There has also been consistent squabbling and a whole period of time of confrontations and arguments leading to a terrible and very negative atmosphere, which doesn't sound like something that would be very enjoyable to be living with. In the end... For the couple that appeared to me in this reading, it's going to be all about someone finding a way to reestablish a healthy balance in their lives. It's going to be all about someone being able to pull themselves out from under a negative set of circumstances to set themselves up for a healthier lifestyle, a healthier relationship, or a new and healthy solitary existence. So as a witness to an older set of morals and an older style of living, I can see where we need to look at situations like this from a fresh new perspective. In my grandmother's day, a married or committed couple stayed together no matter what. And this resulted in some pretty miserable lives, as I can attest to. I witnessed it. My grandmother divorced a man in the 1960s to escape an abusive relationship only to remarry him months later due to extreme societal and familial pressure. And it was as big a mistake the second time as it was the first time. I'm hoping that we live in a less judgmental era, and I'd like to think that we do. But do you know what? I still listen to disparaging things said about women who have decided to end a marriage or a committed relationship here in the 21st century. In our present day, I'm hearing these disparaging things said about women. We've come a long way, but we still have a long way to go. If this reading is for you, and you find yourself in an abusive relationship or even simply an unhappy relationship, do not hesitate to exit this set of circumstances. Do not allow yourself to be pressured to stay where you are not happy in a situation that is not healthy for you. And with that said, until the next time and until the next video, bye-bye.